Papers <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> I think. Yeah. <laughs> You can call me Jam. I'm an artist and sticker shop owner and I own Paper Ica Shop. Hi, my name is Jan. I'm a beauty shop owner and I own Dear Self Beauty together with my twin sister. Hi, I'm Danis. You can call me D. I'm a cookie shop owner and I own Shento Cookies. Back in 2018, po, ako yung nag-start ng Paper Ica Shop. I was an animator back then sa Makati. One day po, nag-join po ako ng art convention with a friend. Diaya po niya ako. From there, doon ko nakita na grabe yung connection na nagagawa mo through your art with other people. So that inspired me to start Paper Ica Shop back in 2018. I just really love makeup. And then, in-open ko yun kay Jam na gusto ko ulit magbenta ng makeup. And sabi niya sa akin, bakit hindi na lang ikaw gumawa ng sarili mong brand? And from that question, napa-research ako as in talagang super dami ko nang tiningnan sa internet, ganyan-ganyan. Hanggang sa yun, nagsimula po yung Dear Self Beauty po. So basically, in-inspire niya akong i-open yun. Given that we are working from home, I had the luxury of time to actually do baking, which is already my passion at that time. I started selling online. Everything started at home. Nag-start siya sa kitchen namin, and then kami ni Jam sa kwarto lang namin. <laughs> then eventually, we had to move from the room, lumipat kami sa sala. <laughs> Kasi masikip na. Started realizing na parang, the house is getting cramped, even our dad is getting stressed kasi yung mga yeah. gamit namin from the businesses, and dun na. And then eventually, we got to the point po na naka-rent kami or nakakuha kami ng first studio namin, which is not here po. Yeah, exactly a year. So, may ulit kami dun sa first, na nirent namin apartment. So, yeah. naghanap po kami ng parang mas malaki po. Then, ayun na, ito na po yun. <laughs> right now, parang ganun ulit yung nangyayari. So, parang, we find ourselves parang nagiging cramp na rin dito. Unti-unti. Noong una, sobrang luwag pa eh, pero unti-unti na siyang nagiging cramp ulit. Pero kaya pa naman sa ngayon. But then, we are already planning to relocate na naman. <laughs> enjoying the fact na magkakasama kami sa kahit anong stage ng business namin. Parang we we decide as three. Tuwing umaga, kanya-kanya kami ng, ng mundo kumbaga. Kasi syempre, we have to check in production. End of day, or kaya minsan car ride going home. Doon kami nag-uusap na parang reflection namin for the day. Tapos doon kami nagkakaroon ng new ideas from each other din. So, Actually, we are very blessed sa setup namin na kung nagkaka-problem kami about sa business namin, parang tatakbuhan namin. Uh, Mahina siya doon, siya malakas. Uh, so, parang, parang nagka, naguhugutan kami ng mga strengths yeah. then okay. Tsaka close yeah. talaga kasi kami tatlo as kahit nung bata. Parang we always want to be together. <laughs> Sobrang clingy talaga namin. Kaya... Sabi nga namin, pag lumaki na tayo, magkakasama pa rin. Okay? Whenever we're here, it doesn't feel work. At the end of the day, we get inspired po sa isa't isa. Malaki pong push yun for our individual selves to do better. Kapag nakikita mo yung sister mo na nagtatrive something, ma may inspire ka, mama motivate ka to do better. So it's really a blessing na magkakasama kaming tatlo. They get to tell you authentically and genuinely and honestly kung ano yung tingin nilang magiging mali or magiging effect ng decision mo na yun. So ayan, doing your best sa business mo is one thing, pero knowing that you have people behind your back na magsusupport sa'yo, mag inspire motivate, and mag advise sa'yo if, if something goes wrong, parang it's a big plus on parang doing better sa sarili mong business. Kasi 2018 po, and then I hired my first assistant po, 2021 na. Dumating na po yung time na hindi ko na kayang maging consistent. Kasi that's the thing with ano, having a business, you, you need to be consistent. And nagiging hindrance na siya dahil ako pa rin yung gumagawa ng production. Tapos pag-artist po kasi kailangan kang gumagawa consistently ng art. 
to sell. With every business, at some point, kapag nakikita mo na hindi ka na efficient sa dapat na ginagawa mo, as the owner, you really have to replace yourself. Uh, malalaman mo yon kapag nafe-feel mo na hindi mo na nagagawa. Yun, you have to like hire someone to replace yourself so you can do more. Di ba parang people are scared to hire because it might entail a lot more, you know, funds to uh, put out or to spend. Pero, it's more of an investment as well for the business that if you hire someone and you pay that person, the return will be much more than what you're paying. And you get to do more like marketing, like talking to customers, getting to know your customers more, filming. That adds greater value to your business. Dun sa mga small business owners din na natatakot mag-hire to replace themselves, lagi nilang tatandaan na it only starts with one person. Like if they start hiring one, and you were able to train that person, it will be easier as you hire more. Kasi kumbaga, habang tumatagal, mas dumadami yung katulong mo eh. So kapag na-hire mo tong unang staff na hinire mo, pag may dumating kang bago, pwedeng siya din yung magte-train dun sa mga susunod, parang ganun. So it gets easier. So it only starts at one talaga. Like parang don't be too overwhelmed, basta magsimula ka sa isa. For Dear Self Beauty naman is more physical stores. Kasi Dear Self Beauty po, wala pa po kasi talagang physical store except common room. We plan to have more kiosks po or shelves po anywhere. Ang goal po kasi ng Paper Rica Shop in the long run po is maging one-stop stationary shop. And like Jan mentioned, physical stores. Kaya thankful din po ako sa common room kasi isa sila sa parang starting point ko to do it. Yung mag-display ng product sa physical store. It's it's been a dream of mine kasi ever since I started Paper Ica Shop. It's a dream of mine to really put up a physical store anywhere in the Philippines and maybe even um, ship out frozen dose maybe um, internationally. <coughs> so basically, kami tatlo parang gusto talaga namin ng physical, physical store stores. in the future. Kasi we already started the online eh, and mm -hmm. I think we've kind of na stabilize na namin yung online um, shops namin. So that's why the next step would be going physical po for the three of us. Value your brand as a whole, value your art, value your aesthetic, value the people that you will hire. Kailangan mo talagang maging smart about it eh. If, kung artist ka, if your artist has a specific aesthetic, i-match mo yung mga, yung setup mo dun sa art mo mismo. Actually, yun talaga yung key sa marketing. You have to be consistent. Kasi, pinote out mo ng pinote out mo yung brand mo out there. So, mas makikita. You really have to be prepared to shake things up. You have to be inspired more with yourself, your experiences, and then put out something different. Put out something unique every time. Try to be authentic and try new things. Yeah, when you see that something works for you, you try to play around it. Pag mas marami kang tinatry at mas maraming beses mo nakikita na, oh, this works, mas marami kang ideas na maiisip. And that connects to what Jam said na being authentic. You can find Dear Self Beauty on Shopee Lazada and TikTok Shop. It's at Dear Self Beauty. And we are also located in Common Room Power Plant. Um, for Shento Cookies, we do same-day delivery via Shento Cookies. Com. We also do nationwide deliveries like Luzon, Visayas, and Mindanao via Shopee, um, TikTok Shop, and then Lazada. We'll be opening that very, very soon. And so I hope you are there. Cookies! <laughs> so you can find my stationery, arts, and crafts products po sa Shopee. Uh, Paper Ica Shop PH for local orders and Etsy for international orders. For updates, we are on Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, YouTube and Twitter and I'm excited to announce that we are now available in all of uh, common room branches. Make it till you make it!